रेडियो कक्षा सुंदे सीख दे रेडियो कांतिपुर बाट प्रसारण भइरहेको रेडियो कक्षा सुंदे सीख दे मा भाई बनी हर लाई पुनः स्वागत सा लता अब कक्षा सुरु करो भाई ता अब हामी कक्षा साथ को अंग्रेजी विषय को पाठ प्रस्तुत करते हैं। लाउता अब कक्षा में शिक्षिका नानु प्रधानांगलाई स्वागत करों। Good morning and how do you do? Good morning and how do you do? Good afternoon and how do you do? Good afternoon and how do you do? Good evening and how do you do? Good evening and how do you do? Dear students, Namaste and welcome to today's English class of Grade Seven. I am your English teacher. Nanu Hada Pradhananga and today we are reading grade 7 our English unit 1 reading comprehension lesson 1 and the topic is Rara. Dear students I hope all of you are ready to learn today's lesson and you have your books copies and pens with you. Alright before I start the lesson I would like to ask you some questions related to it. Are you ready for it? I hope so. Nepal has many tourist attractions. It means beautiful places where tourists come and visit. Can you name some of the famous tourist destinations of Nepal? Can you name some beautiful places of Nepal where mostly tourists come and visit? Hmm, I know you have many suggestions. Let me help you with the names of some places. Some places like Lumbini, Pokhara, Chitwan, Katman Valley of course, and Manang, Mustang. And do you know some of these places are included in the top 10 world famous tourist destinations too. Some of these like Manang and Mustang are really famous. They are famous in the whole world for trekking and traveling. So they are really famous. There are many famous places in Nepal. I hope you have named some more than these places. I know you know many places. Now let's talk about the places in your area, in your local area. You can discuss with your friends or family about the places nearby your home, nearby your community or maybe a little bit larger area which places are good for visiting in your place write down the major places that people would like to visit in your area major places have you remembered? okay you can discuss with your friends and family till then let me tell some of the examples of places nearby my area Okay, as I live in Kathmandu Valley, so places like Pasupatinath, Baudanath, Darwa Squares of all three places, Kathmandu Bhaktapur and Lalitpur, Nagarkot, Changu Narayan, Jowar, Jalvinayak and there are many more places which are really famous and many tourists would like to visit there. That's why they are called tourist attractions many tourists are attracted by the beauty of these places hmm have you prepared your own list I hope you have prepared hmm that's wonderful now what you have to do is share the list with one of your friends and discuss about the places so for a few minutes you can discuss about the places that you have written all right, now let's move to our lesson. After that, look at the picture given in page number one in the first lesson. What picture is there? Look very carefully. Concentrate in the picture. Have you looked at the picture? 
What is the picture is of? Yes, this is the picture of jungle safari on elephant. We can usually enjoy this safari riding an elephant at Chitwan National Park obviously. Now, can you answer the question given over there? I'm sure you can do that. The questions are Look at the picture given above and talk to your friends about it. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you ready for answer? Are you ready? Okay. Let me ask question number A. What are the people doing? The people are enjoying jungle safari on an elephant. Oh, wonderful. Very good. They are enjoying jungle safari on elephant. Have you ever done something similar in your life? Yes, I have experienced jungle safari in a jeep. Oh, that's really wonderful. So jungle safari is always interesting either in jeep or on an elephant. It's really interesting. Namaste. Would you like to try out why or why not? Obviously, I would like to try out because it seems very interesting. Mm, so you would like to try jungle safari on elephant. Yes, it is really interesting. Namadi, are there places like this in your area? No, there are no such places like this in my area because I live in town. But there are other tourist destinations like different Darbar squares, temples, monuments, etc. That's wonderful answer. Okay, these answers could be different to students to students because we have different experiences, right? So different experience and answer could be different. All right. Thank you. Now let's learn these words. Now we are going to learn some words, vocabularies before we start the lesson. Okay, the first word is remote, far from center. Far from center mean very far and there is no any facility available. The next word is altitude. Altitude means height above the sea level, high level, above sea level. So this is measured from the sea level, how high in the particular place is. So that is altitude. Okay. Next word is migratory. Migratory means the ones who move their residence from one place to another. So it is habit of migrating, moving from one place to another. In particular seasons like birds, they stay in one place in one season and another place in another season. So this is their habit of migrating, migratory nature. Then there is a word, second last word, adventurous. So adventurous is something willing to take risk to try to new methods or ideas or courageous. So is willingness to take risk, risk taking work are adventurous. And the last word is preserve. Preserve means maintain something in its original form. Now let's start our lesson Rara. Read the passage, answer these questions orally. Okay, there are two questions. While reading, you answer it, okay? Which is the biggest lake in Nepal? Have you heard before? Do you know about it? Biggest lake in Nepal? Hmm, if not, let's find it out. What shape is the Rara Lake? Hmm, you can see the picture of Rara Lake in your book. Please look at the picture. See how beautiful it is. Let's read about this quickly. Rara Lake is the biggest lake in Nepal. Oh, so this is the answer of the question asked in number A. Rara Lake is the biggest lake in Nepal. It lies in the Mugu district in the northwest of Nepal. So the particular place of Rara where Rara lies is Mugu district and it is in the northwest of Nepal. There are many other lakes in Nepal and Rara is the biggest one. It is in a remote area in the Karnali zone, very far, very rare facilities are there, very less facilities are, few facilities are there to reach there. 
So it is in the remote place, Karnali, very far place. It is difficult to get there and that is why very few people reach Rara Lake. Very difficult to go there, the way is very difficult. That's why very few people go. Rara National Park was established to preserve the beauty of the lake. And Rara National Park was established there around Rara Lake and it was declared as National Park. The oval shaped Rara Lake is situated in a beautiful surrounding. Okay, oval shape. What is the shape of Rara Lake? The answer is oval shape like an egg. Shape of egg. Rara is in the shape of egg. Oval. And it has really beautiful surrounding. Around there, very beautiful scenery is found. You can see reflection of snow capped. Snow capped mean snow field filled with snow. Lots of snow is there in mountain like Opi and Saipal. Opi and Saipal mountains in the crystal clear lake. Crystal clear mean very clear. Very clear waters. Fresh water is there. So how we can see the reflection of Opi and Saipal in the lake. The lake covers an area of 11 square kilometers. Very large area it covers. 11 square kilometers it is about 5 kilometers long okay the size of the rara is 5 kilometers long and 3 kilometers wide the lake is 167 meter deep the altitude of the rara lake is about 2990 meters altitude mean how high from the sea level it is measured from the sea level so how high it is from the sea level 2,990 meters. Now Rara Lake is within the Rara National Park. As we have discussed already in Rara National Park, Rara Lake is under Rara National Park. Therefore, no one lives near the lake nowadays. There used to be some people living nearby. But in 1976, they were resettled in Bardia to establish the Rara National Park. People used to live around the Rara Lake in the past. But they were given another place. They were given place to live in Bardia and instead of that and that place Rara and surrounding now it is covered by Rara National Park. The park was established to preserve the plants and animals of that area. So varieties of plants, many plants and animals are found around the Rara Lake and it was established what? National Park to preserve those animals and plants. It was also established to preserve the Rara Lake itself. The main objective was to preserve the lake itself also. To conserve this beautiful lake further for a long time. The park mostly lies in the Mugu district. However, some parts of it also lie in the Jumla district. The areas are in the two districts, Jumla and Mugu. Mostly, the parts are in the Mugu and some parts are in the Jumla as well. Then let's go to next paragraph. The vegetation of park is mainly coniferous. Coniferous mean the plants are in the cone shape like pine trees. Okay, pine trees and trees like spruce. Okay, spruce trees like uh, usually these are like Christmas tree. You must have seen Christmas trees which are in the cone shape. Christmas trees are in the cone shape, isn't it? And then fir. Fir mean these are evergreen coniferous trees. Firs. It has got very sharp and flat shape leaves. Very needle like, very sharp. Pointed and sharp. And then we can find rhododendron, our national flower. Our national flower is also found. And there we can find oak trees. Oak trees uh, which is usually used for making furnitures and like sheep. Okay. So this kind of vegetation is found there, plants are found there. It is also home to many types of animals like musk deer, leopard, thar and wild boar can be found in this area. So these are the animals found in this area. There are also many types of residents and migratory birds there. So we have already talked about migratory birds. Many varieties of birds are found there and some of them are migratory. They migrate, they go to other place in some time. So seasonal, they are seasonal. They stay for one season 
and they go for other place and they again come back in another season they are migratory okay next what is about rara given let's see summer is a pleasant time very happy time a very good time at rara lake area it starts to get really cold from october and really the cold time starts from october during the mild winter it is extremely cold very very cold in mild wind in the winter time it is very very cold there is also heavy snowfall in winter so there we can see snow in winter there is up to one meter of snow during this time and in winter it looked white and beautiful because of snowfall so every year many tourists visit rara lake because it is really beautiful in order to reach rara lake you have to fly to talsa airport in mugu district so the way to get how can you get to rara lake you have to fly there by air and then you reach there an airport called talsa and then you have to walk for an hour then only you reach there or you can get there from jumla as well the mountain pass gets covered in snow during winter season it is nearly impossible to get there at that time so in winter it is really difficult to reach there so it's better to visit there in summer the route itself is in mountains and difficult to walk if you plan to go there from surkhet you will have to walk for 10 days so how long many days it takes 10 days to walk there visiting rara lake can be very difficult but for nature lovers and those who are adventurous at heart it is heavenly rara is just like heaven naturally beautiful place so it is a very good place to visit for those people who love nature for nature lovers it is just like heaven i hope you understood lesson well now it's time to do our exercises some questions are there which are nearly related to this table work anyway let's do it answer these questions where is rara lake situated rara is situated in mugu district in the northwest in nepal hmm good number b how big is the lake the lake cover an area of 11 square kilometers all right number c how is the weather at rara lake summer is the pleasant time and it start to get cold from october during the mid winter it is extremely cold hmm wonderful let's move to number d how can you get to rara lake in order to get to rara lake you have to fly to talsa airport in mugu district and walk for about an hour or you can get there from jumla very good now let's move to number e When is the best time to go there? Summer is the best time to go there. Good. Now the final question is who would be most attracted to it? Nature lover would be most attracted to it. Yes, nature lovers would be attracted to this place. Now let's move to number 4 ways with words. Fill in the blanks with the correct words from the list. The words are remote, altitude, migratory preserve adventurous we can space animal in the national park we can preserve right answer very good number b according to my friend paragliding was the most best activity he has ever done adventurous adventurous is the right word very good next the das Parts of Nepal are still under develop. Remote. Hmm. Very good. Now let's move to number D. My uncle was a mountaineer and liked the climate in the high das areas. Altitude. Good. Number E. Many das das birds can be seen in different parts of Nepal. Migratory. Wonderful. That's the end of. question and answer now we have one more exercise that is match the following let's match okay we have words like oval shaped surrounding national park coniferous heavenly and prize 
What is the appropriate meaning for oval? Sip like an egg. Good. That's the correct answer. Surrounding? Near or around something very pleasant. Very good. National Park? Area of land protected by government to preserve the natural beauty. Wonderful. Then what about coniferous? Tree that produces hard dry fruit called cone. Good. Heavenly? Very pleasant. And the last one is prize. Award. Wonderful. Okay, you have answered very, very well. And uh, I hope you understood and enjoyed today's lesson. This much for today. Thank you for staying with us. Please do all the exercises in your copy as your homework. Bye bye for now. आज लाई रेडियो कक्षा इतनी नहीं भाई वहीं हो लाई आज को कक्षा और पाठ कस्तो लागियो हमें लाई प्रतिक्रिया लेखना न बोलनु होला प्रतिक्रिया पढ़ाऊने ठेगा ना हो कार्यक्रम रेडियो कक्षा सुन्दे सिक्दे रेडियो कांतिपुर टेलीफोन नंबर पचपन्ना एकचालीस नौ सेदुई टेलीफोन नंबर पुनः एक पटक पचपन्ना एकचालीस � at kmg.com.np R A D I O Radio C L A S S Class at the rate kmg.com.np यो ठेगा नामा हामी लाई प्रतिक्रिया पठाउना न भुल्लू होला है लोत आज लाई एती नई असाची आज रेडियो बाट पड़े को पाट घर मा पनी पुनर जांज गरना न विर्शुनु है भोली फेरी रेडियो कक्षा मा भेट हुने नेशा तब सम्मा लाई बिदा पाउं नमस्कार Thank you.